Hi there, I'm Alex, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to use motion controls in Cephable so that you can use tilting or turning or shaking your phone or tablet in order to send commands and controls to your computer running the Cephable app as well. So I've got the desktop app here in the center, and I've also got a mirror version of my phone that's right in front of me here uh, that you can also see on the desktop. So that's why there's two different versions of Cephable. Over here is the mobile app, and over here is the desktop app. So before using motion controls, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have a profile that has motion controls in it. And I've created one ahead of time called Tilt Arrow Keys uh, that you can get the link to if you wanna add it directly to your account as well. Uh, so if I go ahead and inspect it by clicking the edit button, we'll see we've got five different motion controls here. We have shake your device, tilt your device right, tilt your device. If I expand by clicking here, the shake your device is the same as the backspace. Tilting my device to the right is the same as the right arrow key. Uh, left, down, up, and right, respectively, to each of those arrow keys, which means that we can use this profile, for example, in something like Microsoft Word or Google Docs in order to navigate our cursor around while writing and then shaking our device to delete what we wrote, which can be pretty fun. So now that we have this profile, all we have to do is then open up the companion app on iOS or Android. And over here on the left, for example, we can see I'm in the same My Mac that I have here. Uh, and that I have the same profile for tilt arrow keys uh, synced up on both devices. So now all I have to do is pick up my phone and scroll down to where uh, I see start motion controls and then tap that button. And now you'll see a view where you have a little black dot floating between two squares and a button that says update baseline. They can also jump in to edit the settings for motion controls. And basically as you tilt and turn your device, that little black dot moves up, down, left and right. And once you get it to cross from the blue square to the red square by tilting just far enough, then you'll actually have a command triggered. So what I can do is also go into my settings and do things like change the sensitivity to change how far I have to tilt or turn my device. So the higher the sensitivity, the smaller movements I have to make, the lower the sensitivity, the bigger movements I have to make. I can also choose to turn off and on using motion controls for moving the mouse. Uh, I'll turn it off for now so that we can do the arrow keys, but this allows me to optionally choose to move my mouse uh, by just tilting my phone as well. So now that I've hit save, uh, I can go back and let's open up a program like Microsoft Word and okay. see the arrow keys and delete in action with these different motions. So now over here in Microsoft Word, I just have a sample doc with a whole bunch of different stuff in it. And you can see as I move my cursor around, it's there. So now what I can do is pick up my phone which I have running the motion controls. And if I tilt my device down or up, we'll see the actual uh, cursor move as well. So up and down, left and right. And that little cursor over here is moving. So now we're over here in this paragraph word and I can do things now like shake it and just start deleting things uh, pretty chaotically in this case, uh, because I also am moving the arrow key up and down whenever I'm tilting. But uh, you can all use all sorts of different shakes. So shaking like this, shaking like this, shaking up and down. Uh, all these different movements uh, can be supported. So it can be a ton of fun to add something like making sure that movement can actually create a different input or control. Um, you can do things like take a phone that is mounted to your power chair, if you're a power chair user, and use that for different inputs. Or you can do things like uh, create a body strap, like uh, the ones that runners use for their arms, and then use different arm movements in order to trigger different controls. Uh, or even just make sure that you're moving uh, in order to do something as well, like playing some games by moving. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with motion controls by just using the existing uh, devices that you have with a phone or a tablet, plus the computer that you're trying to control as well. Be sure to check out the other tutorials on how to use things like virtual buttons with the companion app or things like voice controls and face expressions as well to make sure that you're unlocking all of the different ways that you can control your technology using the Cephable platform. Thanks.